Hi everyone. Well, I bought this transmission during the dreaded pandemic. The guy said he had it rebuilt, but you know, I couldn't take his word for it. So I took it to the local gearbox place where he pulled it apart and to my bonus, it is a brand new box. You know, it looks like you do get a win sometimes. Anyway, now that it's back, I'm gonna put the motor and box in. There you have it, the engine's off the stand. I've just got to get this off the back of the engine, throw that back on the engine stand there, and put the gearbox on the back of this thing. Well, I've been struggling with putting this engine in and really it should go in very easily. I'm thinking, why doesn't this line up? I'm like only a tiny bit out. I'm looking around and all the rest of it. Man, no, nothing's hitting. I mean, except it's not sitting here on the engine mount. I've got it down on the other side. I'm looking around, I'm looking around. The gearbox was a little bit high in the rear, but then I noticed this. My bracket that I'm picking up the engine here is hitting the firewall. Ah, you know, I must have had it on this side where there's more clearance when I took the motor out or originally even put the motor in. That's a shame, because somehow I've got to get this down and that off and switch all this around. And I really don't want to pull the motor back out again. I think I'll just uh, rest it down on my engine mounts here. As you can see, it's just sitting right there. I mean, it should be all right for a few, few minutes. Oh, well, I've just got to fix it. So the easier thing to do here was just strap it from the front. I've left the trolley jack underneath there. Just pick up the front. And now, as you can see, when I drop this, this is all gonna line up. So I'll drop this down and get some bolts in it. Uh, get that gearbox cross member done and the engine's in. Well, there you go, the engine's in, all bolted up. And so is the gearbox with the cross member bolted in and all done up.